Yeah. And I'm socially awkward too, so just so you know. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> Spells, Wishes of the Talking Dead was my thesis in UBC, and I just spent two years writing, just writing. Just That's all I did was write about this, write about that, write through COVID, try to parent through COVID. Um, so I will read from here. Dead porcupines aren't just for jewelry. There's a story behind this. There was like a, I went to Alberta as I do yearly and I was driving along the road and there was a porcupine on the road and I'm like, well, I'm indigenous. Shouldn't there be something I should do with this, you know, dead porcupine? <laughs> so I was like, okay. So I had my son pick it up, put it in the car and we called my cousin to come in, you know, process it or do whatever he needed to. And I was like, felt really sad for this porcupine and I thought you know I need to do something about this so I picked up a porcupine mm. dead porcupines aren't just for jewelry mm. I call my cousin and tell him we found a dead porcupine on the road my son 21 picks it up with a blanket carefully as if this warm body might just pop back alive and shoot him full of white and black bark quills We learn porcupines do not shoot quills, but gently curl into a ball, quills standing tall, and so whatever lands its bite gets a face full. Porcu porcupines must really be afraid when they curl into a ball, knowing there are sharp teeth getting ready to take a bite. Must be hard to trust your own ability to protect yourself, baby porcupine, baby girl. Mm -hmm. We all stare at this porcupine lying on a table, clouds hanging overhead. My cousin, who I call brother, tells us that this baby porcupine, tells us that it is a baby porcupine, tells us we won't get too many quills and not too many golden hairs. Not sure why I picked it up. I don't make jewelry. I don't create art. I don't powwow dance. I write poems. He tells us we still have to treat this animal with respect and picks the baby up by its tiny paws. Tells us this is how to, you pick up a baby porcupine. This is how you pick up any animal. He gently lays the baby back down on the table, shows us how to pull the quills out one by one. Be careful not to get pricked by the quills. If you do, wash it very carefully, clean it with alcohol. My sister-in-law gently handles the baby porcupine with respect and takes her time to gently show our children how to treat an animal and how to process a dead baby porcupine. They think it's gross, but they listen because they are loved and they also know how to love back. Mm. My brother is so gentle, so kind, with a penchant for days gone by, wants and commands a gentle kind of respect because of his passion and willingness to learn how to treat the living and how to treat the dead. As an indigenous person walking close to the earth, walking softly, my brother teaches the kids to care for the baby porcupine, even in death. Mm. So the, the beauty of that story was like, I don't even know why I have this porcupine. I'm kind of freaking out. And my, <laughs> my, I guess the lesson there for me was, it doesn't have to mean anything. It just means like, my children got a lesson in how to treat something as good in death as life, I guess. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that was a really important lesson for them. And then we still had to treat this porcupine with all the love and respect in the world. So. Mm -hmm.